The Drake Smith Lab works on the role of iron in immunity and infection, inflammation and anemia. And the reason why is because life without iron is impossible. And yet at the same time, iron deficiency is the most common micronutrient deficiency in the world, affecting somewhere between one and two billion people. Our lab works right across the scales of understanding how iron influences the metabolism of cells, how a lack of iron influences the immune response and the development of red blood cells and affecting anemia, all the way through to clinical trials testing how different types of iron might improve responses to vaccines and might improve anemia in populations where iron deficiency is very common. The techniques that we use in our group range enormously from counting iron atoms in individual cells through collaborations with uh, geologists and people in the Department of Earth Sciences where we're using instruments that are normally used on meteorites to analyse iron in cells right up to uh, clinical trials and investigating how iron influences immune responses and anemia in lots of different populations and everything in between. So we're looking at how iron influences metabolic pathways and lymphocytes how a lack of iron influences the development of autoimmunity and allergy, uh, inflammation, up to some human studies where we're deliberately trying to figure out if we can improve the response to a vaccine in an iron deficient person by giving them iron. We use flow cytometry to look at cells, we use mass spectrometry to look inside cells, we're interested in transcription and looking at gene expression, and we're interested in how tissues in mice are affected by a lack of iron. The big picture is where one of the few groups that can really go all the way from that atomic description of iron in cells all the way through to clinical trials and populations of humans. I think we've been able to do that because we've we've been able to discover that iron is not just important for red blood cells but really important for white blood cells and immune responses. So that means there's a big interest in iron right across the scale from the metabolism of cells and how they decide their function and their fate all the way to the health of populations and their immunity and how well they can fight infections. The biggest challenges facing the group at the moment are to be able to integrate all of those different scales of research and get everybody to talk to each other. Not the humans so much, the humans are very good at talking to each other. It's really to get the scientific projects to interact and to inform each other. But we're getting there, so we're trying to develop methods where we can analyse the metabolism of cells from people at the same time as being able to look at the metabolism of cells at a single cell level in, in test tubes and really link those two bits of science together uh, and that's really exciting. Well, it's a very interactive lab, got a, a nice sofa in the office so people kind of come and sit in and uh, have a chat. Lots of opportunities for lab coffee and cake is also very important and we don't take ourselves too seriously. <laughs>